Hey what's up everyone, I've been working on this video for quite some time and I'm finally ready to release it. Just like the title says, we've got one tempered glass screen protector, 24 cases in 24 minutes. Find out which of your favorites will work. I'll say right from the beginning that since this is such a long video, I'm going to have the time codes down in the description below. This way you can find the case that you're looking for and jump directly to that section. If you haven't heard of many of these cases, stick around, there may be one that you might like. For each of the cases, we'll be starting with a quick install, I'll be determining if it lifts the glass at all, and then finally, we'll take a look at touch sensitivity on the display. Ian in here from Udroid Mania, and you're watching my 24 and 24 case review. So let's get started. First up, we've got the Quarterback by Poetic. This is a one-piece polycarbonate and TPU case. It's got a raised back and a decent sized bezel with extra grip, so you're going to get some protection here. When it comes to the install, since this is a one-piece case, it's very easy. You just snap the case in. It's just that simple. So as far as install, it's pretty quick. Right away, I can say that this case does fit pretty snug, but it's not impacting the glass here. It looks pretty good and feels decent in the hand. With this case, there's no creaking or cracking, so that's a good sign. Now with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at touch sensitivity. I am using the GPEL protector here and I'll be using that for all the cases shown today. But as you can see here when it comes to swiping or sliding or any of the other gestures that you might use on a daily basis, there's not any issues. It works just as normal. Even when accessing the notification tray. Again, there's no issues here. You slide down from the top just as you normally would. And I'm still on my crutches here so I gotta get in the right position. So bear with me. Sorry about that. But as you can see, the display responds perfectly. So I'd say this one by Poetic is pretty good. It has a solid feeling in the hand. And I'd say it's one definitely to consider. This one's a go. You can find this case on Amazon or at the Poetic website. But I'll leave a link down below so that you can go and check it out. Now this next case up, it's by Spec, it's called the Candy Shell Grip, and I reviewed this a couple of months back and I was actually quite surprised to find that even though this case is a tight fit, it does install easily and it actually fits with this protector quite nicely. There's no creaking or cracking either. As I've shown in my install video for this tempered glass protector, there is a good amount of adhesive around the perimeter of this protector, so you don't have to worry about it lifting. And although you don't hear anything as you're actually using the protector as a telltale sign, what you do have to worry about is the fact that, being that this is a tight-fitting case, my guess is that there is a constant pressure being applied, which means that eventually, your protector's probably gonna come loose. And I can say this because as I'm swiping and scrolling and just using the normal gestures that I normally would, I can see here that there's a delay. This also means to me that the protector is actually not close enough to the display so that every touch that needs to register is not actually doing that. It's requiring me to place more pressure on top of the screen protector to make contact with the display. In terms of using the spec candy shell grip with this tempered glass screen protector by GPEL, it's probably not such a good match. And I say that because unless you're willing to forgive these issues, and you really like this case, for this type of setup, if that's what you're going for, you're possibly going to be disappointed. For those interested without a screen protector, the review and the links are down below. So go and check it out. This next case is by Incipio. It's called the Octane. It's a one-piece co-molded case that also brings together a tough polycarbonate with a TPU bumper. Again here, just as with the other one-piece cases, installation's a snap, it's super easy. So this one also checks the box for a quick install. Now that we're about 4 cases or so in, I'd say the adhesive on this protector is still holding up pretty well. There's no creaking again, no cracking, which is still a positive sign, especially since these protectors aren't meant to go through this much, at least in terms of switching cases. We've got about 20 or so more installs to go, so don't forget that I've included the time codes down below in the description. So let's go ahead and wrap up the Octane. I can tell you that even though I'm stumbling around right now, that the tempered glass protector with this display combo, it's actually responding as expected. There aren't any noticeable issues or stutters like I saw with the candy shell grip case by Spec, and I don't have to apply any extra pressure. I'll have the links down below for this case for the review, as well as the link for Amazon. So go and check it out. Moving on, we've got the Poetic Affinity, and if you've seen my review on this case, then you already know the answer. For those of you that haven't, don't worry, as you can see here it's part of the 24 case coverage so we're going to check it out here anyway. Installation here is quite nice and easy. This is a TPU bumper style case with a polycarbonate back and sides. It's got added protection in those beefed up corners for impact and it looks good and feels pretty good too. But enough of that, let's get to the test. With this case again there's no signs of the adhesive coming loose so we're off to a good start. 
Scrolling, pinching and zooming, swiping, they're all buttery smooth, just like you'd expect from the Galaxy S7. And I think that's enough said for this case because, as I mentioned, I already reviewed it, and I think you get the point, this case is definitely a go. The link's in the description for the full review, so you can check that out if you want. I'd like that too. Otherwise though, I've got the Amazon link there in case you've already made your decision. This next case, it's by Artec21, it's part of the Dallas Jelly series. I just uploaded that video on the channel yesterday, so you can get the full details there. This is one of our first two-piece cases that we're going to look at today. And when it comes to pairing this with a tempered glass screen protector for the install, install it as one. I did say that this case looks quite familiar to one of the other brands that we're going to look at, but let's put that aside for now because if this is the setup that you're going for, this case is probably the one that you want. Sure, it costs a few bucks more, but when you can pair it with your tempered glass screen protector and keeping everything else equal, I'd say this one's a go. I can't remember how many cases we're in right now, but there's still no creaking, no cracking, so that's also an excellent sign. This case looks good, feels good in the hand, it's got everything we're looking for. You know the drill, the links are down below, so go and check them out. When it comes to this next very popular case, I'd say take a look at it and the one that I just showed previously. They both have pros and cons, but I think either one could do. This case also has a very similar fit, because if you look at the designs, they're practically the same. I didn't notice any major issues here, but I will say this. When it comes to the install, again, with these two cases, you have to take your time, because they are two pieces and they've got that tight outer ring. Oh, and as you can see here with this case, it's a fingerprint magnet. So to wrap this up, same drill, same place. Go and check them out. This next case, it's by Love It. It's called the Clear Grip. You haven't seen this one on the YouTube channel yet. I've actually shot the footage already for this. I just haven't had time to edit the video, but rest assured it's coming. This is a one-piece case. It's made from a TPU. It's got some beefed up corners here and some really grippy sides. I don't want to spoil the review on this case, so I'm not going to say too much more. The install takes two seconds for this case, super easy. In terms of pairing with a screen protector, this case fits loose enough, but it's snug at the same time, if that makes any sense. Of all the case combinations we've gone through thus far, I'd say this one's got the most natural feeling and smoothest feeling of them all. Yup, I'm really liking this one. Even though the tests that I'm showing you in today's video, they're not that long, but I've done this enough times and used enough cases to know that this one's a go. Since I haven't uploaded the review for this video yet, now would be a good time to say that if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that button so that you don't miss out on the content, and you get notified when I upload it. I can put the link down below if you're interested for Amazon, so go and check it out. If you think this might be the case for you, leave that in the comments below. Next, I have the Ultra Hybrid, and this one's by Spigen as well. This is another two-part case. It's made from a TPU and a polycarbonate with the outer ring. It's very, very similar in design to the Spigen Neo Hybrid, except in terms of fit, I'd say this one's a bit tighter. And with this one, just like the Spec Candy Shell Grip, you know what happens when the case is just a little bit too tight. And I'll say it again just in case you forgot, because even though it's not visible or audible through creaking and cracking, this case is adding some extra pressure to the tempered glass. And even though I can't feel it per se, it's not coming in enough contact with the display. So what that means is if you're looking to purchase this case and pair it with a tempered glass protector, then get ready for the disappointment. If you're a fan of both Spigen and GPEL, sadly to say this combination's a no-go. And that's too bad because this is a pretty nice case. It feels good in the hand, it's everything that we expect from Spigen, and it's also less of a fingerprint magnet than the Neo Hybrid. Like the last case, the review for this one's coming, but the Amazon link's down below, so go and check it out. Now to change things up a bit, we're getting into the wallet style cases, and there is a review for this one on the channel. It came to me from Otterbox, it's called the Strata, and just like everything else that comes from them, you know it's going to be protective. This one's made of real leather, which is a nice touch. It's got a couple card slots also, and if you want more information, you can always check out my review, because this one's about whether or not it works for the tempered glass screen protector. So let's continue. This case has a nice thick bezel that wraps perfectly around the protector. It's not too tight. When it comes to scrolling, as you can see here, that works perfectly. There's no dead areas on the display, so no matter where you tap, it's going to register. Swiping and other gestures work just as well as accessing the notification panel. This combination dresses up the S7 just a bit. You can rest assured that with this setup, everything is fully protected and covered. Even with the case closed, it's got this magnetic clasp, and I mentioned that I like that before. For this one, we've seen the full review on the channel, the link's down below, as well as the Amazon link, so you can go and check it out. With this next case, you can really step up your case game. It's brought to us by Steelgut. I haven't posted the review for this one just yet, but it is in the S7 lineup, so it's coming. 
It's called the book type cover. It's genuine leather and comes in multiple colors, but for today we'll leave it at that. This case has a tight lock around the perimeter of the phone, which in this case happens to be a good thing, no pun intended, because if you're anything like me, with these types of cases I always want a full screen protector because if the phone happens to drop I'm always worried that it's going to fall out. When it comes to this case working with a screen protector though, there's absolutely not a single issue. If you're going for that classic wallet style look, and keep in mind there's no card slots here, this case may be one to consider. It feels great in the hand, and it looks great too. So then what's the catch you're probably wondering? If there's one thing I should mention, I'll leave you with this. It's probably around the price. When you put this together with the screen protector, as well as the cost of this case, I can tell you right now that this setup is not going to be cheap. Depending on the phone and the look that I was going for, I can personally say that sometimes I'll splurge. The link is down below if you're interested, so go and check it out. Alright, same brand, different case. This one's by Stillgut as well, and this time it's their full wallet style case. It's genuine leather as well, this one's in black, but it does come in multiple colors. Just like the last two cases, wallet style cases are some of the best that you can pair with your tempered glass screen protector. And just because we've seen two of these previous to this one, and so that I can save you guys a little bit of time, I'll just say that with this case, this is another one you could pair with your tempered glass protector. Again here, the only thing you really need to be considering is, in terms of pricing, do you really want to spend this much to protect your phone? This is a really nice case, and it feels amazing in the hand. If you're interested, the link for Amazon's down below, so go and check it out. Next up, I believe we have our first of three cases. They've all been sent to me by CDO. They're part of the Cryptek collection. This one's the Pontus. And this one's another review that's coming on the channel soon. It's a three-part case made from a patterned polycarbonate outer. It's got an inner TPU and also comes with a belt clip holster. When it comes to the install for this case, I'll just start by saying that it's not the easiest. Once you figure out how to separate the two pieces of the polycarbonate, you can place the phone inside the inner TPU. Before we add back the outer shell, we'll just take a quick look at the case inside of this here. Because if I were going just for a thin case, I actually don't mind just this portion. Without any other added pieces to the case, everything works like a charm. And you're probably wondering why am I showing you this, and that's because when we install the two-piece polycarbonate outer, which we'll get to in just a few moments, but I did notice a slight difference in terms of touch sensitivity. With the protector and the two parts of this case, the pressure I would say adds up to be quite a bit, so what we end up with is a situation that we've seen with the spec case and the candy shell grip, meaning that when there's a tight fit, and specifically with this case, we're going to lose some touch sensitivity. So let's go ahead and get started, so you can see for yourselves what I mean. And I'll start with the notification panel pull down since that's one of the areas that always has an issue. So far so good here, it's responding just as I'd expect it to, so I'll move on to swiping left and swiping right. And with these types of gestures, everything seems to be okay, but as you can see here while I'm trying to scroll down the right hand side of the screen there's a little bit of an issue. Sometimes it registers and other times it doesn't. But for now, let's say that we can live with that and move on to the next portion of the test. We'll take a look at scrolling, we'll select some text, and we'll just go from there. As you can see when scrolling, sometimes there's stutters. As you're swiping your finger up and down, the display doesn't always move. And just in case you're not seeing what I'm feeling, I'll try and select some text here and paint a better picture. As you can see, the entire display slides up and down instead of the text selector. I tried to grab it several times, but it's just not working. This went on for quite a bit until I got frustrated and decided to move on to the next test. And you guessed it, more of the same. That's not to say that these cases by CD Orb, you just can't pair them with the tempered glass protector. I'll leave the links down below if you're interested, so go and check it out. Next, I've got the CDO Convert. This case is quite similar to the one that we've just reviewed, minus the printed pattern on the back. The level of difficulty is the same, so we can skip that portion and get right to the test. Now what's weird here is that, even though these cases appear to be made exactly the same, the area in which the touch sensitivity issues come into play are quite different, which is strange to me. Scrolling along the right hand side, I couldn't really find any issues, nor when it came to the notification panel. When it came to selecting text, however, the same issue is still present, but with this case, the number of tries were far less. Finally, I was able to grab that selector. Like I said, there are issues here when it comes to touch sensitivity, but the biggest one of all for me was when it came to typing. That backspace key, it just doesn't work. When you couple this with the other touch sensitivity issues that we've seen, you know that this is not a case that you're going to pair with your tempered glass screen protector. Oh, and just because I didn't show you this with the other cases, the removal of this case is quite difficult as well, but that's probably due to the protector. And you know the drill, so go and check it out. 
This next case came to us from Artec 21. It belongs to the Dallas Laser Series. It's a two-piece case made from a TPU and a polycarbonate. The install is quite easy, just as we've seen with some of the other Artec 21 cases from today. There's really no need to spend a lot of time on this one because I can already tell you that this case does work without issue. And if you want to see more on this case, you know where the link is. At this point, we've gone through so many cases, I think that I've lost count. So at the end of today's video, I'm going to have to tally everything up. Right now, however, let's get to this symmetry case by Otterbox. This one's called Under My Skin. In terms of color, it's aqua, blue, light teal, and it's got a graphic pattern on the back. As you know, this is a tight-fitting case, and I gotta say, I really didn't expect this to pair with the tempered glass protector. I'm flying through all of my tests, and right now, I can't find a single issue. I can say that we're definitely more than the halfway point in terms of cases. I'd say there's still no creaking here. It seems like the adhesive to this protector is still on there pretty thoroughly. Over the last few weeks when I mentioned I'd be doing a video like this, I did get a few questions regarding the Otterbox symmetry, and right now I'd say it's looking pretty good. Oh, and let me apologize for my head bouncing in and out of the frame here. I've been standing on these crutches for a little while and I'm getting a little tired. But the good thing is we're just about done. Initially, I was a bit skeptical about the Otterbox case here. I thought for sure it wouldn't work, but as you can see here, it's good. So I'm giving this one the stamp of approval. I haven't posted the review for this video on the channel just yet, so this is another one waiting in the wings. If you've made your decision though, the link's down below, so go and check it out. Moving on, I've got a third case by CDO. This one's the Cryptek Highlander. For this one, there is actually a review on the channel, so we're not going to spend a lot of time here. And with this one, I'll point out that in the bottom left hand corner, I had to tap that watermelon several times before it registered. With this case, touch sensitivity is kind of all over the map. And if you haven't seen my video on the CDO Surface for the Galaxy S7 Edge, that case did work with a tempered glass protector, so I expected the same from these models. I've got another one of these also in the Yeti pattern, but I think that we've seen enough from CDO today. I've got it here on the table, but for now we'll pass. If you want more information on these two cases, the review link is down below as well as Amazon, so go and check them out. Moving on. I've got a DualShock Pro from Incipio. This is a two-part case. It's made from a TPU and a polycarbonate. It comes in multiple colors, but I have here the black. The install is really easy, as it's already done. So I'll run through the usual tests of gestures, starting with the notification panel. There's no issues here. It slides up and down just as I need it to. On the extreme right, when scrolling down, it's just as smooth as can be. Oh, and I didn't mention this earlier, but I'm running Nova Launcher. I know that some of you are going to ask that question, so I'll have that link down below as well. It's my go-to launcher when I want to cover up TouchWiz, as much as I can at least. But getting back to the Dual Pro here, I think we're just about done with these tests because this combination can handle everything I'm throwing at it. And if nothing else, this video can be a testament to the GPEL tempered glass screen protector because it's holding up excellent with all these cases today. Finally, as I'm looking at this Dual Pro case, I'll leave you with this. It feels really good in the hand, and even though I've got a black screen protector on a gold phone, I really like how this looks. The links are down below if you're interested, so go and check them out. Next, I've got a thin case brought to us by Orsley. It's called the Exec Armor Hard Case. It comes in multiple colors. It's made from a hard polycarbonate outer and simply slips over the back of the phone. As you probably can guess, this case places little to no pressure up against the tempered glass screen protector here. It's tight fitting, but it's almost like not having a case on at all. When I'm not going for protection, I like me a good thin case. The review for this one's not up on the channel at the moment, so I'll only tell you for now that in terms of pricing, it's very, very reasonable. In terms of the in the hand feeling, I can say that I've felt better. But when I consider the fact that it does work with this tempered glass screen protector, as well as that price point, it's almost a no-brainer. The link's down below if you're interested, so go and check it out. In this next case, it's by Love It. It's called the Sleek Armor. It's a one-piece flexible TPU case that snaps right on. This case fits loose enough to wrap around the tempered glass screen protector, but snug enough so that it's not going to fall off the phone. When it comes to a one-piece case, this is the way that you'd like for it to fit for this type of combination and setup. The notification panel works here. You don't need to exude a lot of pressure to actually make things happen, which is just like not having anything on the phone at all. I hadn't tried adjusting the brightness selector, but as you can see, this works as well. As you probably already guessed, there's not going to be any issues with this case no matter where I press on the display. And folks, I think here we've got another winner. This case adds little to no bulk to your phone. It's also got that carbon fiber look on the back. 
It's got a decent enough bezel, so you'll get some lay on the table support. And I think I probably should stop there so I can save something for the review. The link's down below, so go and check it out. So if you've made it this far in the review, I really appreciate it. We've got about three cases to go, and I know this because as I'm editing this video, I did look ahead. We're looking at the High Pro Shield. It's by VRS Design. It's a two-part case. I didn't separate the TPU from the outer ring here, and that's because I find that it's easier when you have a two-part case to install them both together. I don't do this all the time, but it's primarily because I have this tempered glass screen protector here. When it comes to executing the tests, as you can see this case also fares very well. And now that we're just over 20 cases in, in terms of this review today, I can say that along the sides, the adhesive is finally starting to show signs of wear. It's not because of this case, it's because of the sheer number of times that I've put a case on and taken it off in the last hour or so. I still at this point don't really hear any creaking, but I can tell that it's starting to lift a bit. It's not, however, impacting the touch sensitivity with this case, but it's just something that I'm aware of. I've also not uploaded the video for this review to the channel, and really what this means is that I've got tons in the pipeline for July, amongst some other things. Anyway, let's wrap this one up. It looks good, it feels good, works with a protector, so it's a go. The link is down below if you're interested, so go and check it out. To close things out for today's review, I've got two cases by AR Tech 21 and since both of those were just uploaded to the channel yesterday, we're going to shorten this just a bit. First up, we've got the Little Rock series, and what I like about this case is one that it does remind me of the subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro, which is one of my favorite cases for the Galaxy S7 Edge, especially with a screen protector. In terms of using the AR Tech 21 case, I did point out one issue, and that's around the notifications panel, but if you're running Nova Launcher, I've got a workaround for that. I do like this type of setup because you get that 360 degree protection. In terms of should you get this case or the subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro, it may come down to price being the differentiator. But before you do, you may want to see the review. Both links are down below, so go and check them out. Alright everyone, if you've made it this far, we are at the last case review for today. If you're subscribed, liked this video and left a comment, find my email in the about section of my YouTube channel, let me know which is your favorite case, and it's yours. Keep in mind there's only 24 cases here, so there's only 24 I can send out. Now let's wrap this thing up. I also reviewed this last case yesterday as well. It's the Vivid Arkansas series, and it was sent to me by Artec21. It's a two-part polycarbonate and TPU case. It goes on very easy and works very well with this protector. It comes in multiple colors, and what I have here is the black and gray, and I like that. My only gripe with this case is that I thought it was priced a bit high. In any case, if you're looking to pair this with your tempered glass screen protector, it's an excellent choice. The links are down below, so go and check them out. Out of the 24 cases that we've looked at today, 19 of these, and again, that's 19 of these, work just fine when you pair them with your tempered glass screen protector. I, for one, am actually quite surprised because I expected this number to be a lot lower. Hopefully there's something here for many of us, and if you've got any questions, leave those down below in the comments. I'm here to answer them. Okay, so there you have it. I've never reviewed so many cases at one time in one video, and I thought we'd never make it. But we're here at last. As I mentioned, there's 19 cases out of these 24 that actually work with the tempered glass screen protector. I'd say that's a testament to both GPEL as well as the many manufacturers that we've seen here today. If you've got an S7 Edge and you want to see a similar type video, leave that in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, now would be the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content like this. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.